Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kwaku and this is the first video. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a Windows 10 app review. I used to do this back in the day, um, but I'm going to try to get back into it now. So this is an app review for MyTube. MyTube is an app on Windows 10. Um, I'll put the price of how much it is as always in the lower thirds somewhere and in the description will be a link. Um, but this is MyTube and MyTube is a YouTube app uh, for Windows 10 and it looks actually really nice um, back in the day when I did YouTube um, when I did like videos like this I covered it and I covered I believe a version on Windows 8 and the manifestation of it nowadays has changed like crazy um, so this is my tube here it is and when you see it here um, you see just the first main screen when you first log into my tube with your YouTube account, Google account, this is what you see first. So you see whatever you're subscribed to is right up front here. So of course, see my subscriptions or average consumer game Gumsiata. And then you see the menu over here on this side. And then you got a little home button to always go back to this screen. So if I hit if I hit watch this, uh, I can go home and well, it's still already on the home thing. If I hit favorites, you can see I got two favorites from back in the day. And I can click home and it'll go home. So it's a really nice, you know, looking application. It looks really nice. It has the material design uh, color scheme. So if I actually, if you look at the light side here where this car is here, you can probably kind of make out, let's see if it actually shows it off. It's not really showing off the material design look, but it claims that it does uh, show off. Actually, yeah, you do see it. So you see this black area right here? This is actually the bottom of the car. You have to look very closely. And if you actually move it up and down, you see the black area. If you focus your eyes on it, kind of stay the same. So that's essentially material design. It's a new, um, it's a new UI style, user experience style um, that Microsoft does for their, for various products of them, um, and it's here on this app as well. So next up, we're gonna take a look through the tabs. What's right here? So you see my name here. Um, if you click on it, you go to my YouTube channel. Um, you see some of my old videos on my old channel. Obviously, these videos are not uploaded to this channel, but these are actually my old videos from back in the day. Crazy hair, too. Um, yeah, and then, so basically, if you have your own channel, you can view your own channel on here. So you can see your playlist. You can see your, um, you know, your subscriber counts, views. You can see, you can search videos on your channel, which is actually really nice. Um, it's actually amazing because most YouTube apps, don't allow you even I think Google's own YouTube app doesn't allow you to um, search videos on a specific channel you usually have to just go to the website to do that um, so that's a really nice feature and when you go to uh, favorites like you saw it shows up your favorites in a playlist and then if you go back you can go to liked and you can see videos that you've liked I've liked quite a few videos so you're just gonna see what you've liked and ironically what you've also disliked um, and let's see you can also see watch laters and basically it's all shown in like a playlist style so these things that probably say a title and from uploader probably because they're from an uploader that doesn't exist anymore um and the video doesn't exist anymore so you can see all those things from watch later most of these things ironically for me i accidentally clicked watch later when i was trying to click something else um playlists these are just playlists like you saw before on your channel you can see your bookmark things you can see your mixes because I guess you can make mixes nowadays um, I don't even know what those are you can hit you can see your saved so you can actually save and download videos on on this application and audio files which I'll show you guys in a bit you can see all the people you're subscribed to and they're in alphabetical order and I believe yeah when you click on the letter it lets you uh, pick jump to the exact letter um, to, of who you want to be like looking at so if you want game grumps for G you see G is game grumps for me you know and that rhymed uh, you can also see upload so crazily enough you can actually upload videos through this application I didn't even know this was a feature until recently um, but I have been using this for a bit I just haven't been able to you know I haven't really touched that I usually just go to the website um, and then you got rooms which says it's in beta so if I click on rooms you can see watch it together so I'm guessing what you can do is if you have another computer or a friend who has the same application downloaded you can send them a code or or send them something and when they 
when they find the code and they type it in, uh, they can essentially join your room and you two can watch videos together. Um, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but I guess you can. Uh, you know, maybe you guys don't want to scrounge around the same computer, so you just want to, maybe you're in the school library or something like that, and you just want to have, look at your own screen instead of having to, like, squint over, like, someone's shoulder and stuff. So that sounds like a pretty good thing. Then you got the donate, you got the, um, screen button, which is kind of like mirroring. So if you click on that, you can see what happens. It kind of changes the view style of it. You can see everything changed from subscriptions to recommended channels, library, history, watch this. So it's kind of, it goes deeper in when you do that kind of thing, which is, which is really cool. Um, so if I go back, let me see, I think I almost forgot how to go back. So if I click on my name, no, how do I go back? Kind of, it changes your whole layout, which is insane. It basically ends up showing all the videos that are that is pretty much in your, you know, that you that you can watch all the current videos from current to you know not current. So it's a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice application. It's a really nice layout. It's got the usual YouTube stuff, recommended, all that stuff. Your history. It's got pretty much everything you'd want out of a you know a YouTube client um it's pretty cool it's i gotta admit it is pretty cool um i'm not exactly sure how you even get back to your other screen someone can tell me that oh wait what's this there's no the home button went away which is really odd um but you do have your settings here if you right click I'm kind of jumping all over the place but i got caught in some random thing so if you if you right click um on your screen you could pretty much just it brings up a like simple menu and lets you refresh the feed and it lets you see your settings and obviously the donate button because it disappeared from the side. Um, I'm not sure if the guy, if the developer put in a way to go back to the original layout without closing out of the application because there's no back button anymore and there's nothing there. So that's one thing I think what the developer could definitely do is um, update this application so you can actually go back out of that screen area because maybe you accidentally clicked on it and you know you didn't know what happens so let me see what happens if I do this no it doesn't do anything like that so it's a pretty cool you go to settings um, and then you can see the general warn before playing on mobile uh, playing on mobile data in case you're on LTE plan uh, use live tile so if you put it on your start menu it'll actually use live tile so that's pretty cool so for instance I'm not sure if it will show you but let me see if I type in my tube and I add it to pin to start. Now that it's on the start menu right here, you can see here, right now it's gonna take a second to update, but eventually it will, you know, live tiles will kind of become less and less for Microsoft, but let's put it into a large live tile. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually gonna update, but it is supposed to be a live tile since I did check it off. So we'll see what happens when, uh, whenever that happens. You can set your language, you can, you can exit TV mode. That's what it was. Okay. So when you accidentally click that button, the icon in the corner that I clicked on like a minute ago, that is TV mode. And when you want to go back, you right click, go to settings and just scroll down. You can hit exit TV mode. And when you do that, you get back to the, you know, mouse friendly and pretty much touch friendly uh, mode. Uh, Zap is pretty touch friendly. So that's what that is. And that's how you get out of it. And then you can choose to separate your MyTube history from YouTube history um, for whatever reason. You can set it into private mode if you want so it doesn't track your history of what videos you've watched um, and join the beta. And you can also see your theme. So you got your system theme. It's not letting me change any other theme. But, oh, no, it is. So it's kind of, I think it's bugged. Yeah, it's bugged because this is the classic theme. I, I don't know what's happening here. So I'm just going to use the arrow keys just so I can show you guys the different themes. So you can see the different themes, what's happening here. It looks as if it's changing everything to the, this is how it was back in the day. It was, it was this color scheme. It was red and black. Um, and then they got classic 1.0, which is like your system theme kind of. And then you got your default theme, which is again, your system theme. Let's see, uh, classic two accent. So it's still the classic theme where it's black all around, but then it has your system accent color. Uh, monotone, which is obviously black and white. Uh, Patreon, 
I'm not even sure what that means. I guess Patreon colors or Patreon subscribers or something. I'm not sure what that means, but let me just go back to default. Uh, you can go to playback and see that you can play videos automatically. You can uh, show when a video is next and you can also go back to using the original YouTube player, which I'll show you the comparison in a second of what the original player would be versus, you know, the past. So, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm pretty much going to, at this point, go to a video that I was just watching. Um, and I'm going to show you how the player screen is and how the channel feed is. Okay, so I'm not trying to give a shout out or anything like that to this uh, this group here, I'm because I I would love to have my own uh, shout out. But what you're seeing here is when you first click on a video, it goes up open full screen. Uh, this is 1920 by 1080 um, currently, and you can see here this is how the player looks like. You can see that the player you got the play button, you got your scrub, so you can actually click and hold, or use your finger and touch and hold, and just drag to whatever level you want. Um, you can see your volume here. You just drag as usual, click it to go back, and this is full screen. Then you got your um, quality settings, so you can see all the quality settings. And you can even see make it audio only, which means you know, say if you're in the car and you just wanted to play a song on YouTube, you could just you know click on that. Well, actually, I don't even know why you'd be having your laptop open in the car, but you can do that. Say you're at work or something. Um, here is another function: theater mode. Theater mode just kind of well, we were in theater mode rather. So this is theater mode actually. And that's how it looks like when you're in theater mode. And you can bring the comments in. It's kind of like Twitch in a way, twitch.tv. And you can scroll up and down, see comments, comments. You can see details of the whole video suggested, just like this, like the regular YouTube. And you can just click away for that thing to go away. And if you click this icon again, you can see you go back to the regular view. Um, so it's really cool. And then you can see the comments how they're supposed to be laid out versus relevance or most recent so it's cool um it's got a lot of functionality i gotta say you can see the link to the actual video and you can even copy it and copy at the same certain time say you just want to show your friend one specific time you can, on facebook or something you can just copy that exact time that you were at and you can just send it over to them so it's really cool links do work on this as well it goes to your default browser you can save so when you want to save a video you click save and I believe it just crashed actually so I'm not even sure why it just did that let's let's open that up again the video just crashed or the whole application just crashed it might be a thing that you just can't do right now let's let's click on uh, Lamar Wilson stuff here um, let me hit pause and let's try that again so if I want to hit save let's see if it'll crash Does the save function work? I believe it is working. So if the save function is in fact working, then I should be able to go home and is it is it installing like I, or downloading? It's not letting me do anything on the application. It looks like it kind of froze. I'll resume where um, where the save function is back to normal. Okay, everybody, just coming back, um, it looks as if it froze the application, so I believe the save functionality does not work. You can't save a video without it freezing. Let me know if it has, if it works for you guys. Um, but other than that, it's not terrible. It's not a bad application for watching YouTube videos and stuff like that. It plays YouTube videos, as far as I know, pretty much ad-free. There's no ads that show up at all. There's no sign of ads. I think there is a paid version of this application. If I go to the Windows Store here, I'm going to do this all without editing because I am pure laziness. Uh, if I go to the Windows Store here and I type in MyTube or the Microsoft Store, yeah, so it is. it does cost money. Um, let's see how much money because I have paid for it years ago. Uh, Office in-app purchases. Can I, can I see the in-app purchases? Let's see.
Okay, everybody, so my tube for Windows 10. Currently, there's a sale for the next 15 hours that makes it free. So probably by the time anyone sees this video, it will cost 99 cents again, but it's only a dollar. It works well. Um, it's available on Xbox One, HoloLens, PC, uh, mobile devices, and Surface Hub for somehow. No, it's not on Surface Hub, but it's just on these three to four devices here, um, as you see in front of me. But it works really well. Um, I really like the application. There's a few quirks that I believe they should fix. The app, the developer should fix, um, which is one, they should fix the save functionality because it froze the computer or it froze the application uh, twice when I tried to do it. Um, it's just, it was kind of clunky. And also, I don't know if this is just a Microsoft thing, but based on just my design background, um, this home button, the icon looks kind of funky in a way. like. The highlight around it is kind of uneven. It's kind of a nitpick, but the icon is kind of uneven. There's more space on the left versus the right. It should be kind of centered or just expand this highlight a little bit um, to make it even. It makes it look more professional. But other than that, it's a really good uh, it's a really good application. I highly recommend you guys take a look at it and download it. Um, I'll put the link of everything below um, so you guys can see it. And yeah, so. Let me know what everyone thinks. Let me know what you guys think on this application. It is my tube. My name is Kwaku. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. All the links will be below, um, as well as my podcast, The Art of Thoughts. It will also be below. And then soon I will be launching my network, which will be having hosting a bunch of other people, podcasters and uh, video makers. Um, so that's coming soon, the Helix Network. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. Peace.